Okay, this is gonna be awesome. Okay, this is, this is, I think this is my favorite one. These are I, I just absolutely love these. These are called armatures. So you're creating an armature, and an armature is something that would hold something. So we're gonna use, uh, make a little frame, and a little armature, and you can make them in different shapes. We have done this one before. This is like a little bow and arrow. This one, you at Grower, Grower Direct that have been in the classes in the past have done this piece, mm -hmm. so you, you've seen it before. Um, so that's, it's the same idea, but then we're going to change the shape a little bit using the same techniques, and we're going to make like a little triangular. I love that. Isn't that cute? I'm absolutely in love with those. See how the back is kind of woven? This, this is also, this can be called cool. the dream catcher. That's a little bow and arrow. This is the dream catcher. And we're making a little triangular sort of a shape with that. And what we need is we're going to take one piece of wire, and again, it's the 24 gauge that I prefer. And then we're going to tape it. Remember how to tape it. You're pulling and twisting as you go, nice and tight. If you don't know how to do that, it's really important that you practice it. And it sounds ridiculous, but if you don't do it right, your mechanics will uh, Just get about just 20 pieces of wire yep. and some tape. And, and just sit down and have at it. Have a good time. <laughs> Okay, then we're going to take it and we're going to use our decorative wire, whatever color you'd like. I'm going to use silver, but you can, there are different colors as you've seen the green, there's gold, raspberry, copper's great. Um, and you're going to twist that around. Yes, and we're going to make a little decoration with that. Just twisting around. Nothing complicated about it at all. Nope. Then it's up to you how decorative do you want to be and how much you're charging. And then you can go back the other way. I mean, you can go up and back as many times, depending on how much decoration you want to put on the wire. See, here it is, just one piece, and then you have it with a couple. That looks good. Mm -hmm. and then we're going to cut that off, and then we're going to make our shape. So we want to do a triangle. So we'll need two equal pieces. And then we're going to need one. That's shorter. That would be an isosceles triangle. There you go. Oh my gosh, Math 30 is paying <laughs> off. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? Then we've got, so we now have two equal pieces, and then we have an, another one that's smaller. So we're going to bind the two at the bottom together, and this one will be across the top. Okay, so you got it. And then all we're simply doing is, I used to do all, too much mechanics and put tape and then wire. If you secure it properly and do a really good job binding it around there, it's not going to come apart. And you'll cut that off using your wire cutters. And then we'll do the other side. So that's going to be the top. And just make sure you're doing it really secure. That's so important. Again, your mechanics are the most important thing. It doesn't matter how cool it, lo it looks. If it's going to fall apart, you won't get any more customers mm. to get to do the cool stuff. So yep, that would not be cool. you got to be proper. Okay, and then we're just going to... And you can make all bottom. kinds of shapes. You know, the, if you want to add another piece exactly. in, make a rectangle, make a rectangle. Yeah, rectangles are cool, especially if you're doing that, the bangle piece that we showed, and then you did a boutonniere to match, that would be a rectangle, oh, a boutonniere. Cool. Very cool. Oh yep. my gosh, that'd it's be like cool. It's like the possibilities are endless. So you're going to do that tight, and then you're just going to kind of come up and kind of go around and kind of do that dream catcher thing, where you're just going to kind of twist it here or there. See how you're kind of just doing a little dream catcher thing. So and it's easy. A, again, it's up to you as the floral artist as to, you know, if you're going to cover a lot of it, you don't need to get too crazy, but you need to have enough to make a little bed. If you're going to place a, this is one that would be great for a, um, a delphinium or a larkspur bloom mm -hmm. just to sit in there, kind of nestled in it would again, be Again, nice. you want proportion. You don't want to pick a big honking thing and stick it on this small armature, right? True. Right. So we're going to make a little bed, and in our bed we're going to lay a couple of pieces of uh, seeded uke foliage and then the bloom. So... Hmm. Thank you. And Heather's going to get the little end. You don't want the stem on anything, unless you're using part of the stem to hold it, you know, within the piece. Otherwise, you don't want to have that. You don't want to have anything that doesn't look good. Mm. I'm going to trim this one a little bit. 
sometimes we forget that we have scissors and we can change the shape of things. We do. We just kind of leave them sure as they do. are. We don't Absolutely. realize, oh, give me another one. I need smaller. So, and all you have to do is just give it a little You see, and no one will trim. know. Shh, don't tell anyone. We have to search and search for that, just that right little piece of foliage. Exactly. I think that looks cute. Mm -hmm. Go just use one. And again, time is money. This is stuff you can make up ahead of time and exactly. have ready to go. Put it in your picture frame and, and sell it that way. And you're just going to kind of go back and forth until you've got it really secure on the piece. You don't want it to flop around or come off. So. And again, you could be done mm -hmm. with just that, and that could be the finished product. Or you can go ahead and we have a little Lysianthus bud that we could add to it. That would be kind of cute. I like that. And then you don't even have to tape it. You're just wiring it on, and then you use the wire as a decoration. And luckily, it's not just the, the traditional florist wire like we would have used years ago. We've got mm -hmm. something decorative. So, oh, can you imagine having to hide all that mechanics? So, oh, oh, forget it. I need a nap thinking about all that work. <laughs> so we're just putting it on here and binding it on till the decoration looks right. Voila, as they say in Canada. And there you go. <laughs> Isn't that just too cute? That is really cool. That is good. Mm -hmm. Awesome. It's well, like a little, a little mini masterpiece, a little work of art. Yeah, you can sure do anything with that. And suitable for a man or a woman. Yep. Again, it doesn't matter. No, nope. uh, I'd wear that. Sex you are to wear it, and you're off and running. You're off running, and running, you're so you can make squares, yes. rectangles, other shapes of triangles, you know. And you'll be the I get of the excited. party. I get excited, I know. Yeah, you you'll so be the will be. of the party with your flower because you had it made by a professional floral artist from Road Direct with all the training, yeah. so we're really proud about that, and uh, hope you enjoy the fact that we can bring these things to you. Have fun. Okay. All right, all right. good job. Thank you.